Are you lacking in motivation? We've all been there at one point or another and coming up after the break, I'll give you my five tips on how to beat motivation blues. When is this ever going to end? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here please consider subscribing because I do truly appreciate each and every one of you that takes the time out of your day to watch my videos. Time is precious for us all and I do appreciate you clicking on my video whether it be the thumbnail or the title that interested you, thank you for coming here. If there's anything that you'd like to ask me or if there's anything that you think this video lacks at the end of watching it then please leave your comments in the comment section below and if you like what you see please consider supporting me and subscribing by clicking the bell to the bottom right of this video and you'll be notified every time I upload which should be about twice a week and maybe more if I have the time um, permitting. But thank you very much for giving me your time. We'll move on to the subject matter in this video and as you've seen from the title it's about motivation. And specifically motivation and what keeps you motivated. Now we've all been there, we've all been demotivated whether it be at work, our private life, our fitness life, whatever it is that we do, at some point you are going to come across feeling demotivated. Whatever that reason might be, it might be external pressure, it might be family pressures, it might just be lack of sleep or lack of belief and faith in yourself and we've all been there. I'll give you an example, when I first started this channel back in 2016, I was very, very motivated to get started. I'd seen a lot of other YouTubers who I've mentioned before, um, who I absolutely love. I saw what they were doing with their channels and I really loved it. And I thought, you know what, I look up and aspire to these people. I want to be like that. I want to be able to give something back. I want to be able to pass on my experiences and my advice to people that might find it interesting and might help enhance their lives a little bit. So I started my channel with the best intentions. Um, what I found was uh, I had a lot of internal issues um, from my employer that didn't like the fact that I was putting these videos out. Uh, they didn't like the fact that I was doing a website and putting my advice on the website. So I was told or rather ordered to, uh, to cease doing what I was doing. Um, that obviously demotivated me greatly. Um, I had a lot of friends of mine that um, were basically taking the mickey out of me, laughing at what I was doing, laughing at my advice. And I let it get to me, I'll be quite honest with you, I did. I let it demotivate me and I stopped doing videos for about six to eight months. Um, you'll probably notice anyone that saw my first videos, there was quite a big time lapse between the last video and the first um, of what was to be my regular uploads. And obviously I'm still doing that now. Um, so I found that motivation within me again. Uh, I wanted to do these videos, I still enjoy doing these videos and as you can see from the very creased backdrop here, I have now started to invest a little bit more in my channel. I've got my backdrop, I've got my stand, I've got my lighting and um, things will improve slowly. Hopefully you'll have already noticed the better sound quality because I invested in a mic, so we're getting there slowly. Um, but that is because my investment in this channel to help you guys out is, um, is paramount and I hope that shows. But that just goes to show my journey from being demotivated to motivated again. It took me about eight months. And there are days when I get up, like the most of you, where I'll feel, do you know what? I just haven't got the energy, the motivation, the belief in myself that I can actually do something to make a difference. But that is the main thing, guys. You've got to have belief in yourself and you've got to believe that you can make a difference and what you're doing is worth it. And there are people out there that want to hear your message. So... I'm going to give you my five tips um, on how to stay motivated and again it's just like anything that I talk about is my opinion and my opinion only. You may have your own ways that work for you and absolutely brilliant. But my first one is basically to stay focused and stay motivated on what you love. My second tip for keeping motivated is join a club or a gym or learn a new skill Essentially, not only will that make you feel better about yourself because you're giving your time, your valuable time, when you're not parenting, you're not working, into learning something else about yourself because let's be honest, I don't know about you, but there's so much more that I know that I'm capable of. However, I've never found that, that thing yet. Um, it could be anything. Maybe you've always wanted to start a gym membership. Maybe you want to get fitter. Maybe you're getting a little bit older. You're getting that middle-aged paunch and you want to work that off. Don't think about it, don't procrastinate, go and do it. Go and join a gym. Make yourself feel better about yourself. Have fun, meet new people. Enjoy yourself, enjoy your spare time. Don't just sit in front of the TV. Life is far too short to be sat down wishing you'd done something else. Just do it. 
I can tell you from personal experience that I've been working full time now since I was 19 years old. I'm almost 43 now, so that's a long time I've been working. Now, I don't have a lot of spare time. When I do have it, I like to make sure that it's worthwhile. And when I haven't got my children and being a dad, which is my number one priority, the other thing I like to do is do something for me. Now, I work out four times a week. I have done religiously for many years. I did have a lapse in it, uh, which I explained um, in my uh, a little bit about me videos, why I did. I let myself go slightly. I was miserable. I was very demotivated. So I do speak from a personal standpoint here when I talk about motivation. And one day I decided enough was enough. I was gonna get the dumbbells back out. I was gonna invest in some equipment. And even though I couldn't afford a gym membership, I decided I was gonna work out at home. I started out with a pair of dumbbells and a, a flat folding bench in my front room. And now I've been working out four times a, day, a week for um, two years again, and I'm fitter than I was in my mid twenties. At the end of the day, guys, it's never too late, all right? Find something you want to do. Don't think about it, just go and do it, and you won't regret it. You'll feel better about yourself. You'll be fitter, you'll be healthier, you'll be around longer to enjoy your family. So find a goal, whether it be gym, whether it be a skill, whether it be learning a new language. You, there's so much out there you can do. Don't think about it, do it. You won't regret it. So that's my tip number two. Tip number three is surround yourself by positive, motivational and inspirational people. Now, if you're not lucky enough to have one of those in your life, then there are plenty of people online, we all know in social media, uh, that um, are motivational, that have done well for themselves, whether that be in their careers, love life, whatever that might be. Have a look online, we all know the people that we love, so I'm not gonna start giving you names here. You know who inspires you in the public eye. See if you can find any motivational speeches from them, any motivational quotes, any videos on YouTube that um, they've done that explain why they got to where they got and how they keep motivated. We all get bad days, okay? We all do, I do. I woke up a couple of days ago and I didn't want to do anything. Then I thought to myself, do you know what? I'm gonna have a look online, I'm gonna look at one of my favorite YouTube content creators and watch one of his videos. And he inspired me as soon as I watched him within two minutes, I was thinking, do you know what, Richard? Get yourself back on there, do another video, have faith in yourself, have belief in yourself and get going. And that motivated me, the simple act of logging onto my computer, going onto YouTube, seeing whether or not my favorite creator had uploaded anything else he had, I watched it and I felt instantly better. We all get bad days, okay? And these people do as well. But they keep getting up, they keep creating, they keep putting out the content and that makes them feel better about themselves. They're helping others. They've helped me. I'm trying to help you. It's a give and take process. We all get bad days and believe you me, when I started this YouTube channel, I let people's negativity get to me and I believe that they were saying that I couldn't make it in life, I wouldn't make a very good YouTube channel, and I still get people now that leave negative comments and put me down, but do you know what? I don't care because I'm enjoying doing this, and I'm keeping motivated by looking at others. We all start from the bottom and work our way up, whether it takes me five, 10 years to have a successful channel, either it may never happen. The main reason I started this channel is because it helps me, it motivates me, and makes me feel better about myself. So what I'm trying to say is surround yourself by people that make you feel good about yourself, but encourage your dreams, encourage what you want to do, and don't put you down. If you're lucky enough to meet these people and know somebody personally, meet them for a coffee, go out for a chat, and ask them how they manage to keep happy and motivated. And that motivation, believe you me, will rub off on you, and that will help you achieve your goals. So that's my third tip for keeping motivated. Tip number four for keeping motivated is to set small goals and try not to run before you can walk. And I'll keep it very simple here and I give a specific example. Earlier on I said in order to get motivated again from a demotivated state is to try a new skill, maybe join a gym, maybe try and learn a new skill, try another job, maybe setting up your own business, whatever that might be. But I'm gonna keep it very specific here and just say for instance, for argument's sake, your motivational change is to join a gym. Like I said earlier on, some of us middle-aged, maybe we put on a little bit of a middle-aged paunch and we want to change our lives and we want to be a bit more motivated and feel better about ourselves and also improve our physical fitness um, so we can spend more time with the family and be around longer because we're gonna be healthier. We need to set a small goal. You're not gonna be ripped and get rid of your body fat in no time at all. It takes time, dedication and effort and a change to your diet and your lifestyle. It's not just about in the gym. Anyone that works out in the gym will tell you that 80% of it is a good diet, and the other 20% is the work you put in at the gym. Your body grows when it's resting, not when you're working out. 
when you're working out, you're breaking down the muscle fibers, and when you're off, you're resting, you're eating the right foods, and that's what repairs and builds your muscles, and that's how you lose body fat. So essentially, you want to be keeping a small goal there. The small goal would be to keep motivated, um, would be to change your diet. Now, you might love bread. Now, I love bread. I absolutely love everything to do with bread. I love bagels. I love granary bread. I love wraps. I like everything bread-wise. But I know that it has to be in moderation. With anything in life, it's about things in moderation. So I know that when I started, I had to cut it out slowly. I knew that if I cut all the bread out straight away without thinking about it, that essentially I would fall back into my old habits. So I gave myself less and less day by day until I completely eradicated bread from my diet pretty much. So I still have the old bagel, but I don't eat bread anymore. I don't have toast. It may sound boring to you, but now it's a way of life. I don't eat a lot of bread. It could be as simple as that for you. Stop eating so much bread, or it could be You've already got your diet in check, but you want to try and improve your bench press. You're not gonna go from bench pressing 100K to 200K in a week, all right guys? It's gonna take motivation. So just bump up your 100K to 110K. Each week, try and add another 10. It's about making small goals. Don't try to run before you can walk, because what's gonna happen if you put 200K on the next week? You're gonna injure yourself. You need to build yourself up, and that's what I'm saying. Don't try and run before you can walk. Keep your goals small, and you can build upon them. That's gonna help you stay motivated. My fifth and final tip, guys, is whatever you do, do not beat yourself up. We are all our harshest critics, all of us. Now, I am awful for taking things to heart and blaming myself for things that are completely out of my control. Life throws some hard low ballers at certain people, and as I said before, I've been through some of the worst experiences that anybody should have to go through in their life. And within time, if you stick with my channel, you may learn a little bit more about that. I'm quite happy to explain what I've been through. If anyone out there feels that they need someone to talk to, ask me a question in the comment section below, and I'm quite happy to answer you. I'm gonna be as honest and open as I can. But what I will say for this video, so it doesn't go on forever, is that I have been through some hard times, just like you have out there, and I picked myself up from it. It might have taken a little bit of time, but I started to get that self-belief back, and I started to get back out there and start to do these videos again. That's just one example because that's what I liken it to. My confidence took a massive knock and I stopped doing these videos and then I've given myself a, a, a bit of a boost and I'm back doing it for you. At the end of the day, guys, you can do it as well. Do not let the harsh critics out there get you down. And if you get something wrong when you first try, don't let that discourage you and don't beat yourself up because we are all human. We make mistakes and sometimes we fail. But Keep going, keep going, and just keep giving yourself that boost because you will get there, guys. You are capable of doing whatever it is you want to do. Now, for me, my goal was to get more confident in front of the camera, and I feel that I'm doing that. And if you disagree with me, then again, leave a comment down below because, like I said, I love constructive criticism. I don't even mind the negative sometimes because it teaches me what I'm doing right or what I'm doing wrong, and that, again, gives me motivation and gives me confidence. But that was what goal I set for myself, was to get more confident in front of the camera and therefore I could talk to you guys without stuttering, without feeling self-conscious. And believe you me, it's something very, very difficult to get used to when you're sat at home on your own, talking to a camera, knowing that millions potentially of people could see you. And if you don't feel good about yourself and don't feel confident, you are gonna be slightly self-conscious about that. And I still am now because I know that there are millions of better YouTubers out there than me. I know that a lot of them are better on camera. I know they've got a better setup. I know they've got an established subscriber base and I really don't. And I got myself a little bit down last week because my son has got his own YouTube channel, Tron Grid Lucas. Now he loves doing his, um, his videos on there. He's been doing them for quite some time. Now he's got more subscribers than me and he's 12 years old and um, he does lots of videos doing uh, characters that he's cut out of cardboard. Now, I could let that get me down and think, well, he's got more subscribers than me. Here I am, 42 years old, trying to do something motivational, but I'm pleased for him. And it and it gives him encouragement, it makes him feel good. So he goes out and does, does more videos for you guys, whoever's watching. Now, that's what I'm doing. I'm, gonna, I'm taking the positive from that and think, well, do you know what? He enjoys doing it. I enjoy doing my videos, and maybe one day I'll find my audience. It's very difficult to keep motivated some days when you look at your subscriber count and you see that not only are you not gaining any subscribers, you're actually losing some. And you're looking at what you're doing wrong. But I've 
just thought to myself, it takes time to establish an audience. There are gonna be people out there that like me and as I get better in this, people are gonna to subscribe to my channel and be interested in what I've got to say. And that's what keeps me motivated. So hopefully I've made my point. If I haven't, then I apologize, but they're my five tips to stay motivated. And whenever you're feeling down, guys, just think to yourself, I'm awesome. I've got the ability to do what I want. I am not going to let anyone get me down. I'm going to achieve my goals and I'm going to be a better person and do something for me. And if you can think that way and you don't let yourself get yourself down if things go wrong, realize that we all take time to get to where we want to go. Baby steps. You do not run before you can walk and have that self-belief that you are awesome and you are going to get there and you are going to achieve what you want to achieve, whatever that might be. So have faith in yourself, guys, is the message really that I want to give to you here. Uh, motivate yourself as I have me uh, and just reach your goals and I really really hope you found this video interesting I hope you stay with me to the end if you didn't then please I implore you to leave your comments below and tell me what it is that you'd like to see whether it be shorter videos whether it be better video produ production whether it be um, a little bit more detail in what I'm trying to say to you I really do appreciate it guys because I am a novice this is new to me still I'm a relatively new channel and I really appreciate all of your comments so thank you very much for sticking with me this far I hope it's helped have a good day you're all absolutely amazing thank you very much and I will see you next time